begin. Hi and welcome back to the Paul McClay channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make a nutcracker soldier. Now that's a bit of a mouthful and if you don't know what that is, here are a load of pictures. Now, I have decided to do this because one, it's a challenge and two, I'm absolutely mad. Um, I think this is going to be really hard. Uh, wish me luck. So, without further ado, here we go.
Thanks for watching the tutorial. So this is the show and tell bar where I show you what it looks like in real time and kind of have a little chat about it. So I've got it right here and I am a little scared that this is gonna fall or break or I'm gonna chuck it somewhere because I do that quite a lot and it ends up in my bloopers. So there will not be any breakages. So here we go. Here is the soldier that I made. Now I am gonna say this was pretty hard. Now, a couple of things I want to say before I actually go along about the things I actually really like about it is I'm going to go negative first and I don't know why, but I am. It was too flat for starters. I made the body too flat. So if you're going to do it, make it bigger and make it more curved. Um, and yeah, I'm not too sure about the legs either. Um, the proportions weren't too bad, but I tell you what, that hat was so difficult to get right. And the hat that I made, I've still got it here. So this is the original hat that I made. And you know what? I'm gonna put a hole in the top. I've already started already. I'm gonna put a hole in the top and I'm gonna draw a string through it or ribbon or something. And I'm gonna hang that up somewhere because I loved it so much, but it was just too big for the soldier. So yeah, I had to make another one. So I don't know, I can replicate it would appear. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So I am gonna keep hold of this. Um, I probably wouldn't have squished it anyway because I absolutely love um, the way I did it the first time. And I thought, yeah, this is gonna work. And then it was just too big. Um, so I had to make another one. But anyway, let's uh, go from top to bottom. Even though I did the hat last, I'm gonna talk about that first. So that had a hole in it. So that's hollow. And as you saw from the tutorial, um, I poked a hole into it and then just made it bigger and bigger and then uh, the outer longer, and then it wouldn't be so heavy. Whereas originally I was trying to make it solid and it just wasn't working because it was gonna fall off and it would have fell off anyway. Um, and then I put all the little decorations on. Um, I weren't too sure about the face originally, but it's turned out okay, particularly now I've got his hair on and I almost missed his ears. I don't know how, I almost missed his ears, but I almost did. And I thought, what's missing from the side of this face? And then I thought, oh yeah, he's gonna have to have like hair. Oh, that's right, yeah, hair around the ears. Yeah, so that's what I remember to put his ears in. And of course, without the ears, the the kind of like the thing that's holding the like the strap, it, it just it wouldn't have been there because there'd have been no ears. But anyway, um, moving down uh, the body, um, I just copied the picture um, as you would have seen as I popped it up on the screen a few times. Um, and it just kind of went from there. Now I made them all in pieces and the reason why I did that is because I didn't want to build an armature. Um, and if you don't know, an armature is something that you build on with wire and then you put foil on it and then you put clay on it and it was just too much effort for me. Yeah, I didn't want to put that much effort in and um, I kind of suffered that because it wouldn't stand upright. So when I actually baked the legs um, and got them out of the oven, I then had to attach it. Now, the reason why I didn't film that part is because it was an absolute nightmare and it wouldn't have been fun viewing. Not for you, particularly for me doing it. Um, so I did that all off camera, but then of course the rest of it did have to go on camera. So yeah, that was kind of the only thing I'll say about that. Um, and I just, I did have a lot of fun with it, but I am glad I'm done with it. As I always say, I know we always say this, um, but yeah, he was fun to make. Uh, I think next time I would make him uh, a lot bigger, so I would try and build them upright, so it would be a statue from the start rather than uh, flat. Um, but he, even though he's flat on the back, it, the, the hair was cool, it just covered it right up, so I didn't need to worry about that at all. And then uh, I just put him on a lid of an old candle and then covered that in a really thin layer of clay. Um, you would have noticed that he was balanced um, on a glass. In the end, I had to get two really big glasses to balance him up um, in the oven so he didn't fall over. I was really worried about that. So I kept running in the kitchen and just double checking to make sure he was still standing. And he was. Um, so yeah, I had fun, but I am really glad it's done. So this, is how you make a nutcracker soldier with Paula McClay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.
Oh, bye. Are they really called nutcrackers? This, this just, I'm going to look because I, I'll be damned if I'm going to say the wrong thing on my own channel. Nutcracker soldier. Yep, it's exactly what it says. Nutcrackers, I've seen me blah, blah, blah. A nutcracker soldier. Now, that sounds a bit weird, right? But you see them all over the place in at Christmas time in all the shops. Um, uh, particularly, they're not la, 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 la. that was a load of rubbish. There will no be, there will no be, there will not be, <laughs> that's a blooper, there will not be any breakages. <laughs> oh, there might be. Thanks for watching the tutorial. So, wasn't kidding, well, well, meow, meow. So, I'm not really sure if you could call that a tutorial because to be fair, it was, uh, I don't know if this is going to turn into a good enough one. Shut up.